Welcome to the BSD Medical Hyperthermia Information Video. I'm Van Potter with BSD Medical, the world leader in hyperthermia treatment. It is our goal to bring you the facts about how hyperthermia works. In this video, we will address the developments in hyperthermia equipment and treatments and provide answers to frequently asked questions. What is hyperthermia? Hyperthermia is the method of treating cancer by using radio frequency or microwave energy to heat tumors. Research has shown that heat can damage or kill cancer cells in some tumors. The heat also increases blood circulation and perfusion in tumors as the body's response to the stimulus of heat. This increased presence of oxygen-bearing blood in tumor tissues is critical for making ionizing radiation more effective. A recent study at Duke University showed promising results using hyperthermia treatment and radiation therapy for patients with recurrent cancers that had been previously irradiated. In their study, previously irradiated patients with chest wall cancer who received radiation therapy plus hyperthermia treatment showed a 68.2% rate of complete response compared to a 23.5% rate of complete response for patients who were treated with radiation therapy alone. Is hyperthermia approved by the FDA? The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has approved the BSD-500 for the palliative management of certain solid surface and subsurface malignant tumors that are progressive or recurrent despite conventional therapy, including melanoma, squamous cell carcinoma, basal cell carcinoma, adenocarcinoma, and sarcoma. Will insurance cover hyperthermia and radiation therapy? In the United States, when hyperthermia is combined with radiation therapy, the treatment is usually covered by Medicare and most other insurance carriers for the treatment of some types of cancer. Medicare and some insurance carriers will usually reimburse the cost of hyperthermia treatment for other cancers if the patient is participating in an FDA and IRB approved investigational clinical study. What are the side effects of hyperthermia? Although hyperthermia has the potential for producing a variety of side effects, those actually observed have been limited to direct effects of heating upon tissue and indirect effects related to tumor necrosis. Analysis of data from BSD Medical's clinical studies has provided the following approximate figures for hyperthermia in general. Burns with blisters have occurred in less than 10% of patients treated with hyperthermia. About 8% of patients experience pain from hyperthermia treatment. Some 4% of patients experience ulceration from rapid tumor death following hyperthermia treatment. This ulceration can result in fever, drainage, and bleeding. Approximately 2% of patients experience infections from placement of temperature sensors and from ulceration. Most infections related to hyperthermia have been local, but systemic infections can occur. As with any cancer treatment, unforeseen side effects can occur. How long does it take to receive hyperthermia treatment? Usually hyperthermia treatment is delivered in up to 10 sessions, before or after radiation therapy. Each hyperthermia treatment takes about one hour. How does hyperthermia work with radiation therapy? Heat increases blood flow through the weakened tumor, raising oxygen levels, which can make the radiation more effective. How else does heat affect tumors? Some studies have shown that hyperthermia stimulates the body's immune system, which attacks the cancerous cells. How long has hyperthermia been used? Physicians and scientists have used hyperthermia since the early 1980s. However, it has taken many years to develop devices that can precisely deliver heat to tumors. How is hyperthermia administered? The BSD-500 is a method of externally applying energy to tumors that are on the surface or just below the surface of the skin. The BSD-500 can also apply energy inside the tumor by inserting a small microwave antenna directly into the tumor. What is the temperature range of hyperthermia treatment? Hyperthermia treatments normally heat tumors to between 109 and 113 degrees Fahrenheit, just a little warmer than your average hot tub temperature. May I speak to other physicians who have hyperthermia experience? Hyperthermia is offered in many locations throughout the United States, Europe, and Asia. Please refer to our list of clinics and hospitals to speak to a physician who is currently using hyperthermia to treat cancer patients. This list is provided as a reference only and does not reflect an endorsement by BSD. How can I get more information? 
For more information, please contact us at the email address or phone number listed on the screen. Thank you. Thank you.